Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and back with another video. This one is going to be another Cardano staking video. I hadn't planned on doing two in a row, but URI just released their staking functionality for the Ledger wallet through their Chrome plugin, which is one that I know a lot of people use. So I'm going to take you quickly through that and show you how to do it. So again, if you didn't see my last video, it was on staking using your Ledger Nano S and that was through the Ada Lite wallet. This one is through the URI wallet and here we go. So first you will need to update the extension in the Chrome store. If you haven't used it before, you can go on to the URI app here and click, it will say add to Chrome for you. So now I come in here. So if you already had it all installed, you would have come straight to this screen. So I go to connect a hardware wallet and you should see on my second camera here, you will see my ledger where I can talk you through that process. So click on Cardano and I want to go through ledger. And for anyone who still has their funds on a Byron wallet, then you can go through this and look at them here. But my funds are already on the Shelly wallet. So I click in here. Now it's saying about connecting, click yes, click connect. And now it's trying to connect to my wallet. So I want to use a Ledger Nano S. It will be the exact same for the Ledger Nano X. So the Nano S, and then as in the last video, just ignore these security warnings. You can see I'm not in the Cardano app yet. So I go into that on my Ledger and it'll keep flashing up and it should come up to export the public key. I say yes. Confirm export, yes. And again, this is a Windows problem, I think. It does this twice, so I'm going to go in again, Ledger Nano S. And again, just ignore the error messages popping up. Export the public key, yes. And confirm, yes. So now it's going to take me in this time. And it asks me to give the wallet a name. I'm just going to leave the default for now. Click on save and give it a second just to load up. So what it's doing now is just loading up my transactions. You can see the few transactions on this test wallet here. And when you want to see your dashboard, then dashboard here, this is a nice feature. I do like this. Um, this would be a step ahead of Ada Light, I would say, in terms of showing you everything in the one screen. So you can see how much you have, your total rewards, how much is delegated. So you can see I already have this delegated because this is the same wallet that I used in the last video where I delegated to the Ada Light stake pool. But in this video, I'll be able to show you how you can move them funds freely. If you look at my transactions, actually, you can see that I sent the funds out today and sent them back in. And as soon as I send them back in, they are back to being delegated to the previous wallet. So when you want to delegate, you won't see this here and it's not gonna make any difference. So you can go through this video. And so I see go all to the different delegation list, whatever returns and this the loads stake, up the all the staking pools that I can delegate to. So if you know the pool that you want to go to, then you can search by the ID for it. Again, this is the website I mentioned in the last video, adapools.org. This is a really good resource for looking through to find the pool that you want to use. And actually Yuri pulls in a lot of this here. So for the purpose of this video, I think Yori should have their own. So you can see, I'm going to use the URI wallet for this one. I can see how much their return on investment is around 5.4% and this is a 30 day average. Now this is an annual yield and this is based on the last 30 days stats. So these things will go up and down over time. So I'm going to click delegate and I'm going to delegate my funds here. It's telling me the amount of rewards I'll get per epoch. Again, doesn't matter for me because this is a test. So delegate. And then click continue. And again, you're getting all these Windows error messages. So ignore them. Just look at your ledger. As you can see, it's popped up on mine. So I click yes. And then sending this ADA, yes, to the address, yes. The key hash, transaction fee, yes. So you'll see it on the screen, yeah, the epoch that it's going into. So again, you can be confirming all of this information. 
I've done this a few times now, and then it's giving you the pool. So this is one that you could confirm just to make sure it's going to the pool you want it to. So and the staking key confirm. Confirm delegation, yes. Confirm and transaction, just, yes. I'm just waiting for the and wallet again. To just ignore all update. them pop ups coming up on the screen with errors. And then successful, successfully delegated. So again, I can go back to the dashboard now. And what I should see when this refreshes is my stake pool that I'm delegated to here should change. Let's refresh the page. And the dashboard now will see what it says. So I shouldn't have 80. Now you can see. Now it's changed. Just took a few seconds to update. You can see my total ADA now and you can see it's delegated to the URI wallet pool. So I hope this video has been a help. If it has, make sure you give it a like, give it a share as well, get it out there, show people how to do this and any questions, let me know below and give me some ideas for future videos and I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.